Okay, hi guys, Darren at Supernova Comic Con and Gaming in Perth. This is our final interview for the weekend and we're with the wonderful mm -hmm. Kathleen Turner. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time to have a quick chat with us. I know the, the convention's wrapping up. Yeah, it is, yeah. So you'll be obviously going home soon. Well, yeah, I'll be going home <laughs> to New York where I live. And obviously you, you've seen Sydney, you've experienced Sydney. What did you think <laughs> of Sydney? Well, before Sydney, I got to stop off in Wellington, oh. in New Zealand, because my brother, my younger brother, lives there. Yep. So I had a few days with him and his family. That was nice. I thought the Sydney was pretty thrilling. It just happened that it was the same time as the Vivid. Yep. All the lights on the buildings at night that were so extraordinary. <laughs> and, and so we had these lovely days of the night, of the lights, and then it started to rain. Yeah. So that kind of knocked out everything else. But uh, Perth has made up for it. Well, yeah, we are a very quiet city. No, I mean the weather. The weather. Well, it's, funnily we've enough, had nothing but sun and yeah, glory. Last year it was raining. The year before it was raining. So you've come. No, at the best time. I, I won't accept that. No. <laughs> now you've had an incredible career. Um, you've done everything from stage, film, voice acting. Which one makes you feel more comfortable? Directing, writing. Go on. Yeah. Which makes you feel more comfortable? Ah, my love is stage. Stage? Is theatre, yeah, absolutely. So what is it about stage that sets it above the rest? Well, it won because it's so immediate, because I am, there's no barrier between the audience and myself. Yeah. There's no editor choosing what aspect of my performance he wants to be presented. There's no director yeah. who can say cut. Now, it is, once I'm out there, um, it is, it's all my choices and it's, and it's working immediately and subliminally with um i'm working directly with people and and subliminally i mean both they and both the audience and the artists yeah. know that what happens tonight is unique that it will never happen quite this way again yeah you know no matter what uh, the performance you don't change the lines you don't change uh any of that but it is uh it is thrilling yeah, that's a wonderful answer. Thank you. Um, now, obviously, when you receive a, a script or a pitch for a project, yeah. what do you look for? What do you want to see? Well, there's a bottom line. There's, a, there's one solid line not to be crossed, and that is if you take the, the woman character out of yep. the story, um, does the story change? In other words, if the female character does not affect the story, create significant change, then you don't need me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, then just go get a prop. Well, you yeah. played some incredibly strong female roles. I hope so. Oh, d you definitely have, and that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to meet you this weekend, because oh, of the, your body of work. Yes. Um, and they do say the word whole Hollywood royalty. I know you're not from Hollywood, but you no. are royalty in the industry. Um, so sitting here talking to you right now, because you've worked with some incredible people, mm. um, Zemeckis, uh, Jack John, Nicholson, Kazan. John Houston. Yeah. When the last great film that he made, yeah. What What's the most memorable collaboration that you've had? Because you've had well, many. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, the three films I did with Michael Douglas and Danny DeVito, because it was always the three of us, yeah. um, had a very special feel to it because we were, we were like a club, uh, a gang, as yes. it were. But I have to say that working with Larry Kazin and, and Bill Hurt, in both Body Heat and Axel Tourist was, it, it's very special to come back to work with a team you've worked with before. Yeah. There's automatic, you, know, you, 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 you don't have to go through all the getting to know each other, each other's rhythms, each other's you know, responses. You can just start from so far ahead and go, go so deep. Yeah, for sure. Now, you mentioned Michael and Danny then. Was there ever a plan for a third film? Because you did the, the two? No, right? no, I don't think so. No. It's beyond. But you also teach acting as well. I've seen yes, that. I do. What's, what's one of the most things, what's the one bit of advice you always give your performers when you're teaching? Well, first of all, I teach uh, only juniors and seniors. Yep. They have to have, well, put in enough time and passion into the work that they have a sense of, of um, commitment to it, huh? Yeah. Uh, and the, my last instruction is always the same, and that is 
to be brave, be brave. to take risks. Yeah. You get nowhere and you learn nothing. If you fail, fine, you fail. That one time. Yeah. But if you don't try, if you don't risk to the point of failure, you will never know what you can do. Yeah, no, definitely. So on, on top of that, when you're approached by the producers of Friends to play Chandler's dad, <laughs> like, don't worry, I love that. Like, I, yeah. I, I even watched a video, like, even bef just before you were announced, I was watching Friends and your yeah. episode popped up when he yeah. comes to see you about the wedding. Right. And I was laughing my ass off it's such a good performance Chandler's is like there and monica and yeah poor man. so when they pitched it to you what was your first response i was doing a play i was doing a one woman show Tallulah, yeah up in san francisco and one of the creators of friends came up to the show and so afterwards he asked if i would consider playing Chandler's father yeah and i thought you know a woman <laughs> playing a man playing a woman no i haven't done that <laughs> So it seemed like, Brave. yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> so, but then the funny thing was that my dresser uh, was gay and loved to go to the drag clubs yeah. and stuff. So I said, all right, you gotta take me to some. You know, I gotta figure out what this is going on. And they, they, they I mean, some of the performers were stunners. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were gorgeous and they lip synced beautifully <laughs> and whatever. But the humor was very biting, yeah. very angry, really. So when I came to do the first read-through for Friends, I thought, you know, I, that's how I did it. Yeah. And all the producers went off into the corner and huddled and then came back and the one came out and said, oh, it's wonderful, you know, it's great. I mean, you're just, oh, oh, honey, yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> I said, but, but could, you, could you just make him um, nice? <laughs> I thought, oh, that's right, I'm on TV. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Now, just to wrap up, because I know you've got some things to do before the end of the day. Um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is such mm. an incredible film. Oh. Um, it was ahead of its time with everything, and you did the. Voice. Well, I don't think it will ever be made again. Yeah. I mean, you think no. in that technique. Yeah. Exactly. And Jessica Rabbit, you were the voice, mm? but you remained uncredited for well, the film. Yes, I never intended that to cause any controversy of mm. any kind. The truth was that because of my stature in the mm. industry, yeah. I would have had equal or first billing uh, to, to, um, to Charles yeah. and to Bob, you yeah. know? But they, I had done nothing as much work as they had. I mean, the work that Bob and Charles put in, the months of work, oh, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't put in. So it didn't seem fair to me that I would have to have first billing yeah. when I didn't do nearly the work they did. So it seemed right to me, since the only other option was not to take billing, was to do that and, yeah. and give it to them because to my mind, they did the work. Well, that's incredibly generous of you because not all actors would have done Well, that. I think that was the right thing to do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, well, I appreciate you taking the time and thank you very much. Pleasure.